Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're using Microsoft Power Toys, just to let you know that we have an update that rolled out late yesterday in my region on the 1st of October. And the latest version now is version 0 0.85. And Power Toys is available for Windows 10 and Windows 11 through the Microsoft Store in case you're unaware. And if you are running Power Toys, you can just click on check for updates. And that process should automatically start the installation of this latest release. Now, first of all, there are a couple of highlights which I'm just going to focus on for the purpose of this video. And it's now possible to select which user interface language should be used by Power Toys Utilities. So if we scroll down here, we've got under Appearance and Behavior, we've got Application Language. Power Toys will use OS language by default, or you can change that to obviously a listed language of your choice. So I think that's a bit of a UI enhancement. And then according to Microsoft, there are lots of quality fixes for workspaces, improving the number of supported apps. There's reduced peak memory usage by fixing image leaks. So that's a bit of a performance boost for the app, which I think is nice because Power Toys can feel a bit sluggish from time to time. Now, the new utility I want to focus on for this video is a utility I posted on, and it's called New Plus. And I posted on this, give or take, about three months ago. And New Plus enables you to create files and folders from a personalized set of templates. And just a bit of a walkthrough of this. Now, what it's all about... Um, because by the way, I'll leave that other video down below and in the end screen for what it's worth. But what this is all about, when you enable the feature, obviously you have to turn that on. If you right click over and above your new default menu option in the right click context menu you get in Windows. And by the way, this is applicable for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, where you have templates for you know, setting up a bitmap image, Google Docs, Sheets, or whatever you have installed on your system. We get new plus. So what this does, as mentioned, is it allows setting a personalized set of templates to quickly create files and folders from a file explorer context menu. So just as an example, we have an example folder. So you can click on the example folder, but you can set up a folder using this feature. And if we head into that, you can set up a folder with a whole lot of different files and templates in it. So if you are using that folder base and that base set to maybe create another folder with certain files um, in that folder, you can then set up a whole folder. So when you right click and you go new, you can head to that folder and there we go. It's available right there on your desktop and you can access that as a template and then set up your work and your files and your folders um, from that actual template, which I think is a nice move. And then if we right click again, if you don't want to use a folder, you can open templates. And here we've got the actual templates um, folder where you can add a template to any file or folder, or in this case, a file. So, yeah, I've just um, put two text documents and so on. So, if we head back and I right click, head to New Plus, and I say click on New Text Document. Now, I know you've got this uh, in your other new menu um, text document, but I'm just using this as an example. So you could maybe set up a Excel spreadsheet using that template. And then if you click on that, it's right there available on your desktop or in your file explorer. And then you can head into that template and then start your work using that template just as a quick shortcut. So I think that's a nice move in the right direction. And it's still early days. So hopefully there will be more kind of default templates that do roll out for this feature. And by the way, you can also change the location of the templates folder. So you can, it doesn't have to be in Power Toys. You can pop that folder for maybe easier access and reference. And you can hide template file name extension that's toggled on by default. And you can hide template file name starting digits, spaces, and dots that's also on by default. So give it a try. Just go fiddle around with it if you are using Power Toys. And it takes a bit of getting used to. And uh, I just wanted to give you a quick overview for the purposes of this video. So over and above that, we also get bug fixes, as mentioned by Microsoft, um, 
there are lots of quality fixes, so that would be include fixes and little add-ons and updates for all the other tools. And as I've mentioned in the past, Power Toys is almost becoming its own operating system with all of these utilities. So personally, on a personal level, I only use one or two. I find the imagery styles are quite handy, to be honest with you. I use that almost on a daily basis. And I have used one or two others just sporadically for different purposes now and then. But um, if you are using Power Toys or if you don't know about Power Toys, go download it from the Microsoft Store. It's also available over on GitHub. And if you want access to the release notes, you can just click on that if you want further information. If you are uh, running Power Toys, and there we go. There's the release notes for version 85. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.